let's get started taking some data. All right, we have a charged unit here, and so what we're going to do is get going is to turn it on. Just push the power button right there, and the screen comes on. Notice there's a lot of ports on here. These are all detailed in your quick start guide. But for us, all we have to do is grab one of our sensors. This happens to be a temperature sensor. And we're going to plug it in to channel 1 here. And you'll notice that it's automatically identified that it was a temperature probe. And it's already monitoring the data. We can take data, and it's very easy to do. This is all really easy to use. All we have to do is push the collect button. You see it's moved to a graph screen now, and we're taking data. I'll put this in my hand, and we'll start seeing the temperature increase as we're taking data. And we'll watch it rise for a few seconds, then we can show you some more features. As the data is being collected, you're going to pull the stylus out. If you want to look at data collection still going on, it's building our data table over here. And over here, there's a place where the students can take notes about the experiment they're doing. We go back to the monitor window, or you can go back to the graph window. And you could also start and stop data collection with that button right there. Now we have our data. We could select a region here. And we might want to analyze that region. So we can go in here and do a curve fit on our temperature data. And from this fit, we could choose a linear fit. And it did the fit and shows it on our graph here, along with the statistics of the fit off to the right. Now your data is, you're able to save the data on the device. You can save it on the device, or you can save it out to a memory card, or you could transfer it up to the computer. It's very easy to use, very easy to get started. And that's just a brief overview of the application. More detailed information can be found at our website or in the Quick Start Guide found in your box. Thank you.